Hi, Larry Alterman here, and today I'm going to show you how to extend the background to make a smaller picture into a bigger picture by extending the background. Now I don't want to make the picture of the car bigger, I want to keep the car the same size and I only want to extend the background. Of course I could stretch things, but then it's not going to be in proportion, so I want to keep everything in proportion and just make the background bigger without making the car bigger. And I know there are a number of techniques to do this, but I'm going to show you my little trick today. And this is using Photoshop PS5. I know in the latest Photoshop they have a content aware type of option, but this is just a, a simpler uh, way to do things. And really this will work with any uh, editor, any photo editor, not just uh, Photoshop, as long as it has things like copy, paste, and f flip. Flip uh, the picture, the image and layers. So uh, let's get going. The first thing I'm going to do is take the rectangular mark marquee and I'm going to take an area on the right side after the car. I don't want to extend the car. And I'm going to take this background and I'm going to go edit, copy, edit, paste. And now I'm going to move it over to the right. But you see when I move it over, it doesn't look natural things don't line up. So now I'm going to do my trick. I'm going to go edit, transform, flip horizontal, and then look. It looks perfect. Now I'm going to merge the layers, and I'm going to do it again. Rectangular marker, marquee. I'm going to take an area that's big enough to fill in the remainder. Edit, copy, edit, paste, edit, flip horizontal, transform, flip horizontal. It doesn't matter whether you move first and then flip or flip and then move. Either way it's the same thing. So now I'm going to move it to the end and then look. Perfect background on the right side. And once again I'm going to merge the layers. And now I'm going to do it on the left side. So I take my rectangular marquee again, and I don't want to get the wheel, so I start after the wheel, and I get that part there, and I go edit, copy, edit, paste. This time I'll move it first. It's more dramatic that way. So I move it to the end, and once again it doesn't line up, but watch what happens when I do edit transform, flip horizontal, and now it looks perfect. I'm going to merge the, vis the layers again, merge visible, and now I'm going to take another piece over here, big enough to cover the end, edit, copy, edit, paste, edit, transform, flip horizontal. Now I'm going to move it. And there we go. Perfect. I'm going to merge the layers again. Merge visible. Now I'm going to make sure the top is straight because we did several paste. So I'm just going to cut off a little bit of the top to make sure we got a straight edge along the top. So I'm going to delete that right there. And now I'm going to do the same thing on the top. I don't want to get the propeller, so I take a piece like that. I go edit, copy, edit, paste. But this time, instead of doing a flip horizontal, I'm going to do flip vertical. Transform, flip vertical. And now I'm going to take my move. I'm going to move it up here. And da da, perfect. I'm going to merge the layers. And now I'm going to do it one more time. Last time, I take a, a piece big enough to cover the remainder. I go edit, copy, edit, paste, edit, transform flip vertical. I move that piece till it reaches the top. There we go. 
And now I merge visible. And I have my new picture with the background filled. Look at it. It's beautiful. Okay, well, that's it. I hope you liked my technique and that it can help you. It should work for Photoshop or any other decent picture editor. The end.